Like Night and Day, a comparison of diurnal and nocturnal vision. It is remarkable that animals have different visions from human beings. Animals also differ from one animal to another. Researchers by various scientists agree that humans are only able to perceive a small fraction of the electromagnetic spectrum, only about 420 to 800 nanometers. This, however, is not so for other animals. For example, some insects, such as bees, are able to perceive ultraviolet light which humans cannot see. Insects have compound eyes which are composed of many lenses which makes up the visual organ. Snakes are also able to see a wider spectrum than human beings which enables them to view infrared heat from other animals. This helps them hunt for their prey by seeing heat, their heat signatures. Some animals, for example cats and dogs, do not view the colors that humans see but appear much dull. They are able to hunt at night due to, their, due to their high sensitivity to motion. Some animals such as birds are also able to see ultraviolet rays of the electromagnetic spectrum. In this video we will review the differences between nocturnal and diurnal vision of animals. Nocturnal is a word that originated from the Latin noctoris which means belong to the night. Nocturnal have eyes that are special to see during the night, while diurnals have eyes that are special to see during the day. Nocturnal animals are mostly during the night. These animals are mostly inactive or avoid light during the day. Our video will specifically discuss the vision of an owl due to its high distinguishing nocturnal features. Owls are a group of birds that belong to the order Strigiformes, consist consisting of almost 200 species. Owls are divided into two families, the typical owls and the barn owls. They are interesting predators who do not display the usual aggressive features that other predators may have, so their hunting skills rely on stealth and vision. Observing an owl alone would not help one clarify if the owl is nocturnal or diurnal. It depends on the structure and the species. Most owls hunt at night and in doing so avoid competition with daytime avian hunters such as hawks and eagles. Although nocturnal feeding is the norm for most owls, a small percentage are diurnal, such as snowy owls, burrowing owls, and short-eared owls. The more common nocturnal types are barn owls and great horn owls, and still a smaller species of owls remain called pygmies who can feed at dusk or at dawn. Of all an owl's features, perhaps the most striking is its eyes. Large and forward-facing, they may account for up to 5% of the owl's body weight, depending on the species. The forward-facing aspect of the eyes give an owl its old, wise appearance, but more importantly, it provides binocular vision, allowing an owl to see an object with both eyes at the same time. This means the owl can see objects in three dimensions as well, height, width, and depth and they can judge distances in a similar way to humans. The field of vision for an owl is about 110 degrees with 70 degrees being binocular. This ability keeps the bodily movement at a minimum, therefore reducing the amount, the amount of sound the owl make, makes as it waits for its prey. Owls are regarded as having the most frontally placed eyes amongst all the avian groups. However, they are farsighted and cannot focus on objects within a few centimeters of their eyes. An owl's eyes are large in order to improve their efficiency, especially under low light conditions. In fact, the eyes are so well developed that they are not called eyeballs, but elongated tubes. They are held in place by bony structures in the skull called sclerotic rings. For this reason, an owl cannot roll or move its eyes. It can only look straight ahead. The owl more than makes up for this by being able to turn its head up to 270 degrees left or right from the forward facing position and almost upside down. The retina of an owl's eyes has an abundance of light rods, appropriately called rod cells. And although these cells are very sensitive to light and movement, they do not react well to color. 
cells that do react to color are called cone cells, shaped like a cone. And an animal eye possesses few of these. So most owls see in limited color are in monochrome. Since owls have extraordinary night vision, it is often thought that they are blind to strong light, which is not true. In fact, some owls can actually see better than humans in bright light. For eye protection, owls are equipped with three eyelids. They have a normal upper and lower lid, as well as a nictating membrane, a thin layer of tissue that closes diagonally across the eye from the inside to the outside, which cleans and protects the surface of the eye. Research has concluded that animals view the world very differently from how human beings see it. Some animals do not see as much color as humans, while others can see more. Some animals have vision adapted to their behavior to help them hunt prey. Nocturnal animals are active, active during the night and diurnal more active during the day. Combining all of these species together help make us aware of the diversity of our environment.